Hello guys, welcome to another video of the Set Up Your Scientific Computing Environment series. In this video, we want to continue our discussion on using package managers, but with another technique. And by using those techniques, we want to install two widely used text editors. So let's go. Okay. Uh, as you as you know as you know from the previous videos we want to install things on our virtual machine so we have installed an Ubuntu distribution on a virtual machine we already installed uh, GNU Octave on that using APT uh, APT uh, package manager but uh, in this video we want to use again APT but with another technique that is even uh, you know it's uh, I can say that is very similar to the way that you install programs on uh, Windows operating system so I said we want to install two commonly used text editors or let's say code editors more accurately uh, the first one is VS Code Visual Studio Code which is indeed an open source uh, text editor that is becoming very very common these days uh, that is developed by Microsoft and uh, yeah this is indeed the, the, uh, the, the text uh, the code editor the code editor Visual Studio Code we want to install this on our system in order to do that uh, as you can see that uh, the default installation procedure for Linux is in, is downloading the installer package so install, instead of asking our package manager to download the, the source, the installation files, and then installing them, we will download the package ourselves. And in Ubuntu, because Ubuntu is indeed based, is built upon another distribution called Debian, the Debian.deb uh, is indeed a default uh, prefix, file prefix for this installation packages inside Debian and Ubuntu. So in order to use this, we should download this uh, this file and then we will install it using a package manager. Or if you don't know how to do that, you can always search and I told you, you can always find appropriate documentation on that for any kind of software, even for, you know, for, for the less known ones. So here it says that for, for installing Ubuntu, for, for, sorry, for installing Visual Studio Code on Linux, on Ubuntu more specifically, the first option that is indeed suggested by these developers is taking advantage of snap snap is also another you know I'm not a I'm not a fan of snap and I don't want to cover that in this video series but you can easily you know you can check it out and if you like it you can use it I I, I don't like it for a couple of reasons uh, more you know they are more related to storage management and this kind of stuff lack of control but in lots of cases you can easily rely on that and that is very similar to you know for example Google Play Store or Apple Store Microsoft Store and this is a very similar concept to those kind of stuff in open source world that is indeed snap store and you can easily install programs using snap you should first install its runtime it's a sort of you know hypervisor let's say and then uh, you can install program on top of that uh, and using that let's say but I don't want to use that. I want to go for 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 a more traditional way that you can have more control, and I'm more comfortable with that. So the the dip, uh, the, using the dip files, using the dip installation uh, packages. After we download the dip file, we can simply run this command using apt install in a dip file, or more traditionally, which is uh, you know the thing is the 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 the, the approach that I'm more comfortable with is first we use another relatively old package manager inside Ubuntu dpkg and then using the dpkg we ask the system we ask the package manager to ask, add these resource files to the repositories and then using the f switch of the apt get command of the apt install command we can install it so let's go for that mm. Oh, sorry. It says that you should download this one. So, mm, yeah, I I download the file. It goes to my uh, downloads folder. So after downloading this, uh, we can go to our 
terminal, we go to the download folder, you know it, and you see that it, 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 this is indeed here. So the command was, let's go back to the command, and the command was uh, dpkg-i install and then a dev file. The uh, dev file was downloaded. This is this should be run as a super user, and then it says dpkg install and then the dev file. I press tab, and as this is the only file in the directory, it automatically inserted it as uh, as uh, as a compilation. So I I type this, and then the password for for the root user. It starts to unpack the content. And then after that, we, we should run the apt get install command with f switch without specifying the name of the of the package. See, and it is indeed this way: apt uh, install with f switch. And by this, it automatically installs the the. You see that uh, it automatically installs that uh, for us. No, was installed. Okay. <laughs> So it was installing. No, uh, maybe you don't need to to run this command, or I, I'm not sure. You you can try it on your own and see if you can run code VS Code without running this this uh, this uh, command or not. But yeah, that's that's the thing. So as you saw that the Visual Studio Code was installed, and I can also run it from here. VS Code is uh, available and yeah, I can run it either from the from the text from the from the shell or from from this uh, start uh, screen. So this is indeed the, the VS Code. I'm very similar to this. I don't want to go to the VS Code. It just, this doesn't need uh, you know tutorial because it's pretty simple to work with this. But you know most of the text edit text uh, you know manipulation and code manipulation we will do in Tox Writers will be will be uh, will be based on this uh, VS Code as well as the next text editor we want to install. And it is nothing by but uh, Atom. Atom text editors. So, uh, yeah, this is this is indeed the editor, and uh, that's quite nice editor. And it's really it says a hackable. Hackable means it's super customizable. You can easily install things, uh, install and customize things, install plugins, lots of plugins, lots of you know extensions, and it's quite uh, simple and efficient. So uh, let me install it using the same technique. Here we can try to see if uh, it works or not. Uh, let's install the the dev package. So I save it. It's going to download. It goes to my download folder. So yeah, here I have a Tom, and I, then I go here, and I try to oops, try to do the same dpkg uh, install a Tom. Let's see if it installs that or not. I think it installed that because it says that yeah, nothing here. It says a zero install, zero newly installed. And, yeah, maybe we didn't need to to run this command in the end. Let's see what happens. It says uh, error processing package at all. Yeah, it uh, it gives us some uh, dependency problem errors, and uh, yeah, the reason is in this case we manually downloaded dev file and we wanted to install it manually. Or let's say semi-automatic because it doesn't take care of similar. In, con in contrast to to the APT package manager, it doesn't take care of um, you know these dependency things. We should ask it. We should force it to take care of that. It's nice that this happened, and then I can tell you how to do that because it happens. I can say frequently using when you use this uh, this technique to install programs, but it's also very common, especially for drivers, for example, for for graphic drivers or for third-party drivers or components. This is quite common uh, technique to install things. So this happens indeed. But in order to you know ask DPKG to because now this repository is added to the system, in order to ask DPKG to 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 have a look 
at this dependency, we should run it with uh, with a configure uh, switch with dash a, and this is indeed asking dpkg to fix the internal issues. Uh, let's see what happens. It still says as you do these these are not installed. So let's install this first. Package git is not installed, so we can install it. apd install git. Yeah. And it, it still says that it depends on something like a parent dependency, but let's let's go for that, see what happens. And now let's uh, ask uh, apt to fix things for us. Let's see if it can. It tries to install git, libcurl, and also this uh, the broken dependency here. So let's do that. And atom is also installed. So this is indeed a way that you can uh, fix broken uh, dependencies so you go first by uh, uh, let me let me show you history here in history yeah so uh, I first install a couple of uh, dependency problems history shows I've, I, I should have said that before history shows you the, the recently executed commands here I have uh, I had problems with this dpkg command for installing a Tom and then I config I, I ran it to I ask it to fix the problems it told me that git and these and these uh, libraries are not installed so I tried to install them again some dependency problem and then I ran this sudo apd install f to you know to fix the broken dependencies and then uh, it's done I can you can see that at home is installed on my system and yeah this is in the text editor it shouldn't ask for this but yeah it asked but yeah this is it did it the atom text editor we will use it a lot so uh, yeah uh, I, I didn't expect this dependency problem to happen but it's good that it, it happened and then I showed you how to you know you know work with these things as you you as you saw in the video it was also written in the in the command in the in the terminal that you should run this uh, run this commands run this execute these commands uh, to to fix the broken dependencies. So even by following sometimes by following what is printed on the terminal, you can easily fix the problems. But yeah, this is you know all the dependency problems that can happen are more or less like this. It tells you what is missing and then you can you use this command this to fix the broken uh, dependencies so the reason that it didn't work for vs code was also like that because there was nothing to be fixed vs code was automatically installed by uh, by the dpkg install command and then there was nothing to fix so yeah and uh, that's it that's uh, that's all uh, all the things I wanted to to indeed cover to install these two text editors and using package managers uh, in the next videos we wanna go for uh, let's say uh, other techniques than uh, package managers so see you in next videos and uh, stay safe and bye